Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to talk about the best way of handling NV images of hyperspectral data in Python. There are two libraries using which we could do that. One of them is Rasterio and the other one is Spectral. And in this video, I want to show you guys which one is the best. Let's get started. Okay, as I said in this video, I want to talk about what is the best way to read and save NV images of hyperspectral data in Python. I have already talked about the hyperspectral images and the NV format of them. I refer you to the prior videos I have made on my channel for that in case you wanted to remind yourself of those materials. In this video, I want to be more focused on the coding part of them, especially when it comes to reading and saving them in a directory. There are a few ways in which you can read and save NV images of hyperspectral data in Python. Two of the most popular libraries for doing that are Rasterio and Spectral. There are similarities and differences between these two libraries and how they handle the NV images of hyperspectral data. In both of them, after reading the hyperspectral data into the Python, you'll have yourself a NumPy array. But when it comes to saving the hyperspectral data in a directory, Rasterio saves the cube hyperspectral data as a TIFF file with no header file. So it just saves the data as a NumPy array in a TIFF file. This type of saving is not helpful, especially to the industry, as NV format is a customary method of saving hyperspectral data, which is doable through Spectral Library. Therefore, Spectral Library has an edge over the Rasterio as it saves the hyperspectral data as an NV file with a header file associated with it as well. Let's go to Python and show you guys the example codes. So this is the first coding that I'm going to show you guys. Here I'm using Spectral Library to read and save NV images of hyperspectral data. So first we specify where the image is located, and this is the name of the image file. And this is where we get the header file and then the data file. Here we opening the image using the header file and then we load the hyperspectral image and then we save it in the hyperspectral data variable. And then we show the dimension of the data. This is where I'm going to be saving the image and the name of the image is going to be output. And I'm going to be using OS to save the image in a specific path. As you can see, this is the path. And then I'm going to be saving the image using this command here. So the hyperspectral data that I have in this variable is going to be saved in this directory using this code. Let's run this. So the run is complete. And as you can see, the NV image along with the header file are saved in this folder, as I have specified here. So now let's use the Rasterio library. Because Rasterio has nothing to handle the header file, I'm going to be also using the spectral library to handle the header. Using this command, I would be able to also see the wavelength. So, this is where the header file is located, and this is where the file is located. And then I'm going to be using the Rasterio to open the file. And then I'm going to be showing the shape of the hyperspectral data and the number of bands. And then I'm going to be using the spectral library to see the wavelengths. Now I'm going to be saving the hyperspectral image using Rasterio library. As you can see, this is going to be the output folder. And then here I'm going to make sure that the output folder does exist. If it doesn't exist, I'm going to have to make it. And then I'm going to be using the output folder to specify where the path is going to be, where the image is going to be saved. And here I'm going to be specifying the shape of the hyperspectral data. Then I'm going to be specifying the metadata for the output. This is the only metadata that the raster is going to use, but it's not going to be as well as a header file. And then I'm going to be using the Rasterio library to save the image as a TIFF file. Let me run this coding as well. So as you can see, everything is done. Let me show you guys. This is the output file. You could see that it's only one TIFF image. So this one TIFF file contains the whole hyperspectral data and there is no associated header file with it. So as I said, the Rasterio library is not very helpful and the best method to read and save NV images of hyperspectral data is to use Spectral library. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and you were able to get something out of it. If you liked it, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your friends. Thank you so much and have a nice day.